So you've been able to identify your inner child and you are in the process of healing of healing your inner child and working through um, the process of healing, right? And um, one of the things that we discussed in our last video, which was, you know, how to identify your inner child was um, talk to your inner child. So when you find out or if you find out that you have a wounded inner child, what are some of those things that you could say to your inner child, to that wounded inner child? This is what I'm going to be sharing and discussing in today's video. All right. Hi, my name is Juliet Israel. I am a mindset coach. I share content on all things related to mindset, mental health, emotional wellness to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your business, your finances. So if you love content on anything related to these things I talked about, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that I drop one. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five things to say to your wounded inner child. Number one, you are safe. So, for example, um, your inner child grew up thinking that you know it wasn't safe. Maybe not literally, but even though you had guardians, parents around, maybe you grew up in a domestic violence home, and every single time you are wondering if you're safe. So, one thing. Now you are an adult, but you're still wondering, even when you get into a relationship, you're still thinking, oh, am I safe in this relationship? Am I okay? Am I safe? Even though the person is not emotionally abusive or um, a violent person, domestically violent, right? So you keep asking those questions. So one thing you need to tell yourself, tell your inner child is that you are safe. So another thing to say to your wounded inner child is it's okay to have feelings and express them. So people who, you know, tend to suppress their feelings, they probably had experiences in the past as a child whereby they expressed their, um, their feelings, their emotions, you know, their excitement. And it tends to be, it was watered down, they were, they were shut down and all of that. So they just kind of like, you know, took that experience and felt, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to share my feelings. Maybe I'm not supposed to let people know how I feel. Maybe I'm not supposed to express these emotions that are, that are wielding up inside of me. Well, you need to let yourself, let your inner child know that it is okay to have feelings and express them. It is not wrong to have feelings and wanting to express them. So another thing, um, another thing you want to tell your inner child, your wounded inner child is, um, it's not my fault. It's not your fault when somebody is in a bad mood. We are all responsible to, um, for our emotions, how we feel. Even though um, circumstances may come and affect us, it is up to us to decide how we choose to react. So, when someone acts negatively, for example, the same example of maybe you, you shared your joy with someone and you know they're not just in the mood to receive all that. And then you start feeling like, oh, is it is it what I shared that you know is making them feel that way? Is it what I shared that is making them withdraw and angry and, and flare up and all that? So you need to let your inner child know that it is not your fault um, for somebody. It's not your fault that somebody else, someone else is in a bad mood. It's not your fault. They just decided to be in that mood, <laughs> right? So it's not your fault. So you don't have to take responsibility for their mood, their feelings. So you don't have to blame yourself for the mood that they are in. So another thing that you could tell your inner child is that I love you. So these may be words that you may not have heard sparingly, right? You may not have heard this word um, as as much as you would have loved to. And then you grow up and find yourself that you're, you're, you're always seeking validation, seeking love from another, another person. So you need to let your inner child know that, oh, I love you. I love you completely. As a child, as an adult, I love every bit of you. I love the whole essence of you. So you need to let your inner child know this. And then the final thing is to tell your inner child that I hear you and I see you. So most of the time, we feel like we're not heard, we're not seen, our work is not known. So you need to let your inner child know that, oh, I hear you and I see you. So these are some of the things that you could tell your wounded inner child. I hope that um, if you have a wounded inner child, you're going to start practicing some of these things that I shared. You're going to um, start talking to your inner child, to, uh, telling yourself your inner child these words. And I'm sure that it's definitely 
going to help you in the long run. So um, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you loved it, um, please leave a thumbs up, leave a like, and let me also know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Let me also know if you gained value from this video. Um, put it in the comment section. Share this video with your friends and family and people that you care about. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that I drop one. Until next time that I come your way, my name is Juliet Israel and it's saying bye-bye.